generic greetings and welcome back once again to Prison Architect Today's Beverages. A very nice traditional cup of tea, the perfect beverage for building a solitary confinement slash supermax area. I don't know why, I'm just hoping that's the case because that's what we'll be doing in this episode. So welcome back to Prison Architect anyway. And in a previous episode, we were once again dealing with utter chaos and violence. It just seems to be the common trait for this facility, whether it be by design or by the sheer amount of high risk and indeed gang members that we have in the facility. Either way, with that said and done, let's go over to straight away building and let's not mess around. Let's start building what's going to be our... Our legendary protective custody area type thing. Originally this was earmarked for protective custody. So inmates with traits like snitch or ex-law enforcement. Ones that would be targeted by the inmates. That's where they were going to go. However, the ones that we've had with said traits previously. We didn't know they had those traits. They were just an unknown one. And yes, they were sadly... Um, quickly escorted out the door violently before we could really figure out what's going on. However, this thing... Hang on, what is that? Oh, doesn't matter, sorry. I looked over there and I thought, are they putting loads of crates on the back of that? But no, it is, it is just a hearse. Um, so yes, over here we'll build this, and that's this is where we're going to have our gang leaders, so red, green, and blue, as well as the second in commands, and they'll also have a security room here, which will be the only way in or out, as well as an area for eating, so a little canteen here, and down this area, probably an area that's maybe designated as common room, and we'll put all sorts of things in there. Anyway, we're going to dismantle that door, go over to our doors here, and we'll have a solitary door, place a solitary door there, and there there actually you know what i'm thinking maybe put this door which is in or out here as only like a, maybe just a remote door so or it can only be activated remotely would that be a good idea um i don't like that idea actually but, but is it is it worth it uh i'm go on i'm gonna try it because it's something we don't often do so that door and that door is remote access only the problem with that is if it does kick off any guards in here will have to wait for the door servos to kick in before they can go over here. Speaking of door servos, I'll need to put in those uh, straight away because people are going to get locked in. And, um, well, that's suboptimal. Um, a couple of... Oh, we've also got this open here, so for now they can go through. That's that's by design, honest. <laughs> Obviously not. It just works out. A um, couple of things, a couple of bits of bookkeeping actually regarding comments from previous episodes. People asking about uh, a neglect of the staff room and staff needs. We don't have staff needs on. We do have uh, the need for staff to rest, so they do need a staff room. You can see they are resting here. However, we don't have staff needs like the traditional sort of um, needs for prisoners, so like bowels, sleep, uh, safety, etc. Actually, I don't think sleep's there. I think there is a tiredness, though. So, yeah, we don't have those. Um, people also are saying that uh, this is back to front, the shop front. Is it? I always thought, like, the paperwork and the calculator and the stamp goes on the inside rather than the outside. Doesn't really make much sense to me with it going on the outside. And are they eating food while watching TV? That's exactly what's going down there. TV dinner. Uh, yeah, so that seems right and, well, it works, so I'm going to leave it. Also, a couple of people asking about the room designations, and specifically when it comes to the yards and anything controlled by the gang members, why don't we just remove the designation? Well, this is a perfect example of when you probably want to do that. So if we go over to our intelligence and gangs, we can see that they are trying to take over this common room. However, it's not yet been taken over by them, and we can very easily just remove the entire common room, and then they can no longer take it over. I can then set common room back immediately, so it is very very cheesy doing this it's uh yes it's uh un it's 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 exploitation of unintended game mechanics aka cheesy but yes we can do that if we do so desire however when things have been taken over like for example over here like this yard you cannot remove it it is a limitation uh say a limitation it's a deliberate limitation that you cannot remove something if it's been taken over by the gang members so they control that and we're not able to remove it that can cause a lot of problems um but the way you do it is basically by evicting them and you do that by having more guards or click the evict button however the evict button basically causes the gang members to be very annoyed and will very much randomly just start kicking off and obviously that's uh yeah not ideal over to our, where is it, deployment and the staff only, and changing the 
security room to staff only, which uh, we can't do on those because, oh, it's because it's mirrored, obviously, and it's the other way around uh, back over there. Yeah, I said previously that, like, I wasn't going to have, oh, we didn't have a, are we missing a door there? We are missing a door. Yeah, that's a, a solitary door. Okay. Uh, I didn't know that. I didn't notice it. And now it's fixed. But yes, we we can change security to staff only. The problem is that the security room does generate contraband. And I said previously... Uh, where are we at? That one there. I said previously that I don't want that staff only because I want to uh, escort people there and have a little chat and such. So, for example, uh, our intelligence informants, we've got a couple of informants here that we could escort, like, for example, uh, we'll activate Felix, and they're going to be escorted, and then we'll be able to find uh, different traits and what's been ordered to be flung over walls and all sorts of things. However, they can become a known snitch if this, they are spotted and stuff. It's, it's based on, like, the heat level here um, on there, and there is our... There is our coverage there, so 20% coverage, suspicion is low, and there's like nothing that they've really pointed out to be a problem. There might be like a big targeting mark if someone's got a trait, like say this person had a trait like snitch, that could say right, these are being targeted, etc. But that still might be the case because they've only got a 20% coverage, but I'll deactivate them, and uh, I guess we could activate Tim as well. But yeah, making this a staff only area is fine because they are escorted there so when they're escorted there they are allowed to well be brought in and in and out so that is fine over to utilities and to connections and the door control system will be connected to both of these door servos and also i'm going to connect the other phone tap here to all of the visitor booths because i forgot about it um not just forgot about doing it, just forgot that you can you can connect them. People did remind me, so thank you for that. So that's all sorted. Uh, shouldn't make a huge amount of difference, but it is there anyway. So over to this area, what we're going to do is place a brick wall there, so it's a little bit more secure than opened. And let's change all of the designations. So we want to have security. That's going to be designated there. We want to have um, some cells. The problem with that is... People will be moved over when I really don't want them to be. We'll have to sort that out. In fact, what I'll do is go to deployment and supermax only. And the whole thing's going to go supermax. That's going to go staff only. Um, in terms of rooms, we want to have this as a canteen. So the canteen is going to go there. And then the common room common room will go down here and there we go so let's let's furnish all of this in due course obviously it's going to take a little while for the workers to crack on and we still only have seven grand so well let's see how we go on this one so over to our objects and to the beds and the beds i'm going to put in down the bottom here and well basically like that as well the toilets i'm going to put in here rotate round and go there drains will go next to it like so followed by a shower head one two three rotate four five six that should be acceptable and that's the bare minimum that you require for for this building um by the way you can actually put the shower head right above the toilet <laughs> it's something that's been in the game for quite some time and I've never really utilized it however it doesn't make much sense anyway because well you can't place the drain oh you can place the drain underneath it so we could make if you want to like a a really small um a really sort of small section let me let me see if they build it first I want them to build it first and then go from there um planning I just remove that because obviously we don't want that there and it's going to take them some time to Go ahead and go in there to sort that out. Also, what I wanted to do, because it's uh, been bugging me for quite some time and people have mentioned this, is, uh, yeah, put in some lights in the solitary areas. Because, well, it's very dark in there. So, we have sleep time just about finished. There we go. We've got another fight over here, which is going to be Alex. Yeah, looks like they've kicked off and damage the drain and toilets and things and there's going to be another uh, is it another takeover or is this just a cementing of their yeah their control over there this one uh, control is actually being slowly lost they have to they have to keep control of it essentially if they don't i was going to say mark the territory but that's that's uh, i guess not really what I, the what i was after um 
No, they have to make sure that obviously it is control because if there's no presence there, then well, it's not exactly uh, not exactly protected, is it? Uh, so these seem to be in, and let's go ahead and see if we can go for a toilet setup there as well. Yes, you can. So you can have all these lined up in one go. That is going to be brilliant for future series. I can't remember where I saw that. I might have been on the um, I might have been on the prison architect uh, twitter account just recently actually as well so i thought that was something added recently but apparently that is something you can do let's see if they actually build it there you go toilet shower and a uh, and a drain all in one tile i mean it doesn't seem ideal does it but well what's the saying if it's stupid but it works there you go so those cells are in and I think we need to build the canteen. So over to here. Serving table can actually go on that side, which looks really good. So I'm going to do that. Followed by a table and benches either side. And those door servos, don't even hear that, were proper squealing. Um, I'll do that for the canteen. Just makes it a little bit better. And the other stuff I'll, I'll put in later. So that should be that sorted. Right, let us get some patrols around here. So, deployment, armed patrols, like that, followed by just designating a guard in there. And I'm not going to bother with dogs going around, because I don't think, I don't know if gang leaders and things like that try to escape. I mean, they will try to escape just by smashing through doors. Looks like Bill is fighting once again. So I turned on free fire, but there you are. So it seems as if the... It seems as if this room is pretty much sorted. Obviously, we do need to... No prisoners assigned to eat the canteen. That is correct, yes. Okay, let's... Go for security room then. I think we'll put the desk there. Chair behind it. Filing cabinet there. And the common room I'll, I'm going to furnish in in but a moment. So. Definitely set to super max only. Let's check this out. Gang leaders, Alex Kenway, Supermax. As soon as I unpause it, you should be shackled up. Or not. No. But it does mean that the guard's going to have to come along and take them to their new area. Let's keep working on that one. So, there's only them as the leader. Hopefully they'll go to one of those cells. That's the plan. There's the second. Supermax. Can I just like right click and tell them what sells? I've done that. Let's see if any of that actually happens. Oh, a tunnel. Is that bills? I think it is. Oh, not bulldoze, no. <laughs> Remove tunnels. There we go. So we have a canteen. We have a common room. It's not furnished yet. We have these other two rooms. Oh, and they are being escorted. So, Kenway, are you going to get escorted here? Yes. And yes. Okay. Let's check this out. Um. No. Where are they, where are they being escorted? Where are they being escorted? They're being escorted there. That is their cell. No, this is their cell. Why are you... Why are you taking... <laughs> so, this guy's... Got the correct designation. That's fine. That's what we want. That's the second in command that's there. But Scotting this guy back to that cell. Are they just going to pick him up straight away? No, I'm just going to say, look. There. Go. The simple way of doing this, actually, is to um, just remove all of the designations of the rooms so that you can only be put there. 
No. Once again. How strange. And it's also kicking off over here. Tim Boyer. Tough and volatile. Okay. Also unconscious now. Why are they not being escorted there? I'm just going to leave it because they shouldn't be allowed in here. Oh, no, they can be allowed in here because this is not set to anything other than... It's just... It's shared. Well, doing that will fix the issue. <laughs> um, yeah. There you go. And technically, that... Right. So he's not allowed in there now. All of the available cells are too high quality for this prisoner. Oh! Right. That's why. Because it's too large. Yeah. It's because it's grade 4. Alright. Uh, I'll just turn off cell quality ratings then. That should work now. Yep, there you go, they've been escorted. And, yep, it's already been designated as uh, the right thing for them. Good. That's fine. Um, and then they go to that canteen and having some food. Okay, that seems to function. I will leave. What I'm going to do... Change those to max sec as well. I could technically change all this back to... Shared, I think, now. I'm fairly confident you can change this back to shared now. But let's just see if that is the case or not. Because they can't get through here, because this is staff only. But we need to... Yeah, we've got cell quality ratings turned off now, which could be a bad thing. But we need to furnish the common room. So let's do that. It's going to be objects. And... What's it going to recommend? Pool table. Straight away we'll have a pool table. No dramas. I can go there. I'm not going to bother with a TV. Because these guys are getting a TV in their room. Now, I know there's going to be a lot of people who will be saying, like, hang on. So, like, these are the these are the most ill-behaved people in the facility. Arguably causing the most problems. Yet we are essentially rewarding them with all of these luxuries. Um, that's the long and short of it, yeah. Uh, that's pretty much what's going on here. Uh, yeah, there's always a duality there. Oh, early prisoner reward. Uh, early release. Cool. Yeah, that's 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 what's happening. Um, it's, it's a decision for a small amount of money being spent here will cause a lot less money being spent here. Sends mixed messages, admittedly. But at least doing all of this, hopefully we won't have any bother from them. <laughs> Let's see if any of that actually happens. I want to place a... What do I want to place? Well, I haven't got a metal detector in here, which I probably should as they come in. Actually, I'll probably place one there, couldn't I? I don't think anything's... I don't think anything's going to be nicked. But I'll place one there. That should help out. And phones. We need a phone uh, booth somewhere. A couple of those should be fine. I'll just put the phone in. We also want prayer mats. And that should be a lot of their needs being fulfilled. Literature, entertainment, food, rest, shower, security... Spirituality, uh, family. Yeah, that's, I think that's 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 the most most what's there required. Hmm. Okay. So that's fine. That seems to be all right. I have four hundred and thirty-one generic units of currency remaining. <laughs> Three grants on the go. We've got Prison Manufacturing Facility, Cell Block C, and the Reform Through Education Initiative. The advantage is that we shouldn't have, shouldn't have, any more real big fights. Because, now that the 
leader, and more specifically the second in command is in their own area, they cannot meet with their other gang members. There can't be any plans executed. That's the theory. <laughs> the reality may be very different. Electrical cable here, I'm just going to connect that up. And also utilities connections. We need a phone tap connection. I think that one is probably the one with the fewer phones connected, so we'll do that. So three maximum security prisoners are going to arrive, which is good because that'll give me a bit more money. But I'm still on negative cash flow, and I'm still going to be sitting on negative cash flow because... I'm guessing loan repayment. <clears throat> Two and a half grand loan interest. Yeah, we've got a 50 grand loan if I remember rightly. Aye, aye we do. Not ideal. So, we need to make some staff alterations, don't we? And start paying off loans. Right, so... One, two. There's the random workers we've got rid of. Janitors? Do we need two? We will keep two. Guards? Ten armed guards, eight dog handlers, 24 regular guards. So, yeah, I'm looking at anyone that hasn't got a taser. I think they've all got tasers. Actually, that's a thing. Programs. Guard taser, people have finished that. We don't need to run that anymore. And spiritual guidance. I don't think we need to run that as well. Whoa! Duncan Taylor start. Well, I'll say he started fight. I don't know, but it has kicked off. Free fire straight away. There's a face in game there. And oh, it's Bill O'Neill again, who's got a gun. And that's another big brawl in here. I'll turn off free fire. Let's see if that will help. Nope, because Bill's just going to keep firing. And, uh... Yeah. That's... That's happened. 19 deaths. And now Alex is escaping. Okay, so that happened. So we're going to leave there for now. That's been a bit of prison architect. <laughs> Some people have suggested splitting this canteen into multiple sections. So putting a wall there and putting a wall there and having, say, like three or four canteens as opposed to one big one. It's an idea. Would it stop what we've just seen? I don't know. I do not know. What I do know is that wall is half as thick as it used to be. And I have no idea who instigated this. Is it a gang fight? There's only one less red gang member. It's possible. Either way, we have an issue. And it's a bit of a staffing issue. We lost a couple of armed guards and some dog handlers there. Snipers wouldn't help out. I know people have suggested snipers. That that wouldn't help out. I think we're going to get a call from someone to say, what is earth's going on in that facility? Put a stop to it or, yeah, your game's going to end. I think we're going to get that call in the next episode. Either way, we're going to leave there for now. That's been a bit of prison architect. Very happy with our building. Even though it's not a huge amount of progress, I'm happy with what we've done here. And hopefully what it will afford is in the future. But I still have problems with this canteen. And I don't know what to do about it. Splitting it up, would it work? Possibly. Or would it just compartmentalise the issue? Hmm. Have a think about that one. Either way, hope you have enjoyed this episode. And for what it is the series as far. Comments in the comments. Thanks so much for watching. Take care and generic partings. Good grief.